ever heard about toxic empathy? Hmm. Stay tuned to find out more about this topic. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Everly really Genia, as usual, Karibu Sana. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So according to this topic of today is toxic empathy. So according to Google, toxic empathy is when a person is able to identify with another person's situation, but to such an extreme degree that they prioritize the other person's challenges and begin to neglect their own personal needs. So as you can see, like toxic empathy is not as good as it seems. I think too much of something is poor. Me kindly, the wind is strong today, stronger than other days. So yeah, just kindly bear with me. Um, so basically that's um, toxic empathy. When I, I think um, too much of something is poisonous. So even having empathy can be too much. Like if you have too much of it, it can be, it can cost you. And you know, as an empath, I always feel like sometimes I go overboard with my empathy and I've been trying to just work on that. And if you've seen my video on pleasing, people pleasing, I will link down the, uh, the description box down below if you haven't seen it. Mm, so usually like when you're an empath sometimes you just feel like you just do things in excess sometimes like you end up doing more than it's required and it gets to that point it can be toxic so i'm just going to talk about like um why when it's toxic and what you can do maybe to to not for it not to be toxic because it's a gift and i believe that it should be used wisely and it can be used on just everyone okay so i really love being an empath but at the same time there are levels to which you feel like you know you you need to wa not be so empathetic because it can really be detrim detrimental rather than be a good thing so let me give you some signs that you're you have toxic empathy so the first point is you feel guilty or shame or sadness on behalf of someone else so this means that you tend to feel guilty like let's say maybe someone is feeling sad so you end up feeling more sad on their behalf it's like you're the one going through that and it consumes you and it even makes you want to help that person and you know every, take it like upon yourself to help this person as if it was your own problem so you feel the shame you feel the guilt you feel everything and even sometimes you end up like creating a story on maybe what happened to this person to be, for them to be like this so it really is crazy and it can be too much you know so then the other point is like you treat other people's problems as they are your own so when you treat other people's problems like i said before in the first point like it becomes detrimental so you take on other people's problems like too much you know it's good to be helpful it's, it's good to be a good friend but when it becomes like too much like you take it on yourself you obsess over other people's problems then that becomes a bad thing so the other point is also you avoid holding other people accountable for their actions so in this case you you know you just um you like maybe let's say someone has done something to you you don't you feel like you're not able to tell them you know no you did this and this you know you're not able to tell them like why did you do this like you know you, you don't hold them accountable to the actions which is really bad so you should be able to be in a position to just tell them no 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 you did th this this was wrong and this is not right at all you need to make it up to me you need to make amends to the person that you did that to so like you need to do that like if you don't do that then it becomes toxic then the other point is you compromise your needs by catering to other people's needs. So basically you just focus on other people's problems until you don't even have time for yourself. You don't even have time, energy for doing your own things, for even building your own relationships. So you end up suffering and uh, your own life suffers and you always, you always feel like your, your energy is low, like you're not even psyched up to do the things that fire you up, you know. Yeah, so you just find yourself like compromising a lot like even i said before um even you end up like meeting people who just use you people who just take and take and take from you and you know you don't compromise like you i mean you always compromise like if they tell you i need you to do this just bounce and you just go and you know you just tend to them and you forget like you need to also take care of yourself you know so you always put, put other people's needs ahead of yours and then you also try to persuade people to take on your perception of boundaries. So you, you end up also like trying to convince people that that's how it should be done. Like um, it's good to do that and which is not a good thing like to, to convince other people to, to not have boundaries. So you tend to tell people, maybe you tend to feel like other people are doing it wrong and you're the one who's doing it right and you're being a good person. But in real sense, you're the one who's end up, you, who ends up suffering. Okay. okay. Then the other point is that you're the one who always 
people always flock to for advice. So you find yourself like being the one everyone runs to for advice, everyone runs to maybe when they have problems. And sometimes it's weird, like, you know, you find yourself like the one just taking all the punches sometimes and it's, it's, it's exhausting, you know, at the end of the day you'll feel like, what about me, you know, like, when will someone also like be concerned about my issues, my problems, so you find yourself like you're just there, you know, taking other people's problems, soaking in, um, trying to advise them and all that, trying to put out fires that are not for you and at the end of the day you feel so exhausted. And the other point is that you help other people out at your own expense. By this I mean sometimes you go out of your way too much, you know. Like even though you, maybe let's say you don't even have much money, let's say you you had only planned maybe to go somewhere, maybe you had planned for the day, you had already planned that you're going to use a certain amount to make a purchase and then now you do, you go out of your way maybe to buy someone a dress maybe they were like oh i love this dress and you're like okay let me just buy for you yeah it's okay and then you put your needs behind and you see like that's at your own expense and you end up suffering and uh, before you even have money manage to get money to buy that thing that you wanted to buy then you feel like you you know you always are sacrificing so it's like you're sacrificing your money your time for someone else which is not good then so i have t i've come up with tips to help you manage to with this um, toxic empathy. So the first point is prevent the emotions for, of other people from taking control over your body. So if you can prevent other emotions from happening, you know, taking over like other people's emotions, like when you feel like you're going to take on other people's emotions, like try to avoid that at all costs, because it will take over your body and you'll feel sad and you'll feel like, you know, it's happening to you and it shouldn't happen to you because you also have your own problems and you have so much to deal with as well. So avoid that. Then learn to separate other people's problems for your, from your own. So if you can be able to separate other people's problems, know that they have their problem and you can't save everyone. You know, you're not, you're not like superhero, a superwoman, a superman, like you can be able to save everyone, stop every fire, you cannot, you know, so that's the reality. So like just learn to separate other people's problems from your own, be able to sort out your issues. And then of course you can be, you should be a good friend, but I'm saying like, it shouldn't be like it's your life mission to just help other people out like all the time. And everyone, you know, of course you can help people, like not you, but you can't help everyone and you can't even help everyone all the time. Like sometimes you can help someone but now you can't keep on helping them all the time. I don't know if you get my point. Yeah, then uh, ensure that you get reciproc reciprocity in your relationships. So the way you're also being so, you know, nice to someone, you're also doing everything, you know, to help someone, they should also be do the same for you. So if they don't do the same for you, then you, sh you should evaluate that relationship, that friendship, because it should also serve you as well. It shouldn't be like, one-sided that you're the one doing everything doing all the heavy lifting it should be also both ways then the other point is to set clear boundaries so if you're able to set clear boundaries just let tell someone no you know yeah i remember there's this um domestic manager that i had once and she was like always wanting something like it felt like she wanted something like it's like i'm a I have a supermarket in my home. She would come and like, okay, so you just give me this, a little bit of this, a little bit of soap, you know, the liquid soap, like I could maybe pour some bit on, maybe in, in a bottle and give it to her for her to use at her, her home. And then sometimes, you know, it's paraffin, sometimes it's like, I don't know, so many things. So I was like, no. Then one day she just borrowed something. I was like, no, 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 no. This is too much. You know, this is too much. Like, like I buy this with money, you know. So even you, you need to understand that it's not, a, not free. And even if you go to the supermarket, usually have to pay you should usually have to make some a purchase and use the money you know you can't just take it so yeah so i had to set clear boundaries and tell her no so at least she saw that you know she can just borrow everything then seek healthy relationships if you can be able to get relationships that nurture you i've talked about this before in previous videos get relationships that nurture you relationships that respect you relationships that appreciate that you're an empath and that won't take advantage of you being an empath they will always um, make sure that you get your, your, you know, your efforts are reciprocated and your love is reciprocated. So ensure that you get, um, you seek healthy relationships and you'll also feel fulfilled. So I think these are the points that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you have any more points, you can say, uh, talk about them down below. If you've been a toxic empath, you can tell, tell us your experience on the comment section. And yeah, just what to do to get out of that. So 
Thank you so much for watching. It has been my pleasure. Do stay tuned for more juicy topics, interesting vibes, and also inspirational stories. Until next time, bye.